Welcome to MNR Music Revolution. My name is Marcelo, and in this little video, we're gonna start to answer some questions from our followers on YouTube and on Instagram. So let's start now. One common question is which power brick should I use when I have a big pedal board? Let's say 8, 10, 12 pedals. Well, we have some recommendations here and I'm gonna from you. We're gonna use the One Spot Pro, the CS12 by TrueTone as an example. But also we're gonna speak generally about what we think a power brick should do. One of the most important things is every output it has to be isolated here we have 12 outputs so isolation prevents from noises extra noises and also interference in your pedal wall and that can be because sometimes when we place the power brick close to some specific pedals it could be a vintage fast it could be a vintage wah there is in the past, when the power brick were not isolated, some interference, not only noises, that it can come and it can mix in your guitar sound. So we don't want that. So when you go and buy a power brick, one key is the isolate outputs. In the CS12, we had 12 outputs, of course. The first two, we can use it to connect pedals, which has 18 volts. We had two output with 18 volts. The next four, we have pedals that we can connect between nine volts and 12 volts. How we switch it? Well, we have a little interrupter here that we can move up and down, and we can use four nine or four 12 volts. Any one of these, it consumes 100 million pairs, see? The last one, we can connect nine volts and also four volts. And this is very useful when we have vintage phases. Some of them doesn't work well in 9 volts, so they prefer to go low, like 4 volts. So here, also with the little toggle switch, we can change for 9 and 4 volts. Let's move on. We have 250 milliampere, two outputs, and here is where I suggest that you have to connect your digital pedals, especially digital delays, big digital reverse, big digital modulation, especially the one that came with 10, 11 different type of modulation, all consumes a lot. So 250, 250, and then we had two more 500 milliampere. All of these kind of pedals should go in this part of the power brick. The last one, we have an AC adapter and 800 milliampere. So this is good for some pedals that work with AC, like the WAMI Digitech, the red one, the one from the fourth generation, that one works with AC. So you have the chance to use it here. Also another great thing, we have this little switch here in the back that allow us when we travel international, we go to different countries. Let's say I am in the USA, I'm traveling to South America, I'm going to Argentina, Brazil, or Uruguay. I use a different kind of voltage. So with this switch, we just change it and we are ready to go. We avoid any kind of damage in our pedal board. And that's very, very, very important. So, is the CS12 the only one in the market? No, there is a lot of very good ones. And I can give you some names. For example, Strymon. For example, we have Voodoo Lab. We have Moer. We have Walrus Audio. We have a Mission Engineer. We have Emax, MXR. All of them are great power bricks. To me, the key is the output isolate. That make a big difference in our sound. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please press like it. Also subscribe to the channel because it's free. And leave your comment and question and we will answer you as soon as possible. 
My name is Marcelo. We are MR Music Revolution from here, from New York City to the rest of the world. See you guys soon. Bye bye.